If you were to define and draw up the perfect athlete, it's basically Francisco Lindor. He is a specimen. Lindor hammers one way back to right. Francisco Lindor has his first home run in a Mets uniform. You know, I think that obviously in New York, it's a challenge, but he's such a professional and he's such a leader. We're just watching really one of the greatest gifts of athleticism in baseball today. It is an art, what he's able to do. It's like, look how mad these hitters are. And he's just like, yep, yep, you're out, you're out, you're out. Line drive in. Oh, what a catch by Lindor! That'll end the inning. And it may have just saved the game for the try. Hi, I'm Hunter Pence, former MLB All-Star, two-time World Series champion, and this is the Players Breakdown. Today, we're gonna get a dynamic shortstop, Francisco Lindor, one of the smoothest swings, one of the smoothest defenders in the game of baseball today. Let's go check him out. Lindor with a drive down the right field wow. line, and it's gone. Being a switch hitter, it requires the most athleticism. It's so difficult to do to be able to hit from both sides, but it is such a strength because you're not gonna have to deal with anyone coming from behind you. So every ball is typically gonna be moving into you and coming from a view that you can see a lot better. But if you can switch hit, if you're that athletic, you always have the advantage. They have to get all of the mechanics and everything and the body awareness and body coordination of two swings. So it requires a ridiculous amount of work in the cage. He's one of those gifted people that that is able to switch hit. And it's a huge weapon. It's a huge asset to a team. Lindor goes deep to right. That ball is gone. I think that one of the things that impresses me the most is somewhat the way he carries himself and the leadership that I feel from him. And that's what I'm most excited for watching him on the Mets. I would equate it kind of to the Mookie Betts, to the Dodgers, the leadership that Mookie brought over. So it impacts a clubhouse in a major way. When your superstar is in there working out, in there in the cages, that is doing the little things right. When you do the little things right, it sends a message to everyone that, hey, if Lindor's doing it right, I better do it right. 2-2 two -two hit well. Deep right. Batista's going to wave goodbye. Start the fireworks show. So right here, tie ball game, clutch situation. One of the things I love about Francisco Lindor is actually his body language. That shows me his leadership. Obviously, it's swaggy, but look how calm he is right here. You can see that in a lot of clutch hitters, how calm they stay. Gets his pitch, turns on it, and there you have walk off, baby. You gotta love that. It's a good feeling. You feel like he's at the heart of a lot of that action too. Like he just finds ways to win games. Breaking ball in the air to right field. Grossman by the warning track at the wall. Ooh. Gone. One thing about Lindor is he's got like really high hand eye coordination, but he keeps everything really short and compact when he's hitting. You see how his hands aren't too far deep and he doesn't like have this huge load. So that compact short swing allows him to hit a lot of pitches and to not be fooled very often. Swung on, hit in the air to left, pretty deep. Back goes Brantley on the track, looking up. This ball is gone! Frankie Lindor with a two-run home run. There's not many people that can take a ball that low that far, and that's second deck in Houston. This ball was gonna probably hit the dirt, and he just golfs it out. But the fact that he's able to also stay compact, stay short, he creates so much time with that. That's a beautiful swing. Hitting is a lot about giving yourself more time and creating yourself more room for air. This is just power. And when he steps in the box, you better be ready to play defense. You better be ready as a pitcher making your pitches. You're gonna feel his presence. He can take one deep, he can drive you in the gaps, and he can run the bases. He's out of room. The shortstop is the quarterback of defense. It requires the most athletic player in the game. Backhanded by Lindor, can he get to the bag in time? Yes, it's a double play in spectacular fashion. Francisco Lindor is one of the players that has impressed me the most on the field. And before even the game begins, just watching him warm up, it is a thing of beauty. It's poetry in motion to watch this guy just warm up. And then when the game starts and it gets sped up, his defensive footwork, his defensive glove, and his hand-eye coordination 
is so smooth, he makes the toughest plays look easy. You know, like when you're trying to create footwork and you're trying to teach footwork, it takes a long time to get that natural ability. He's definitely put in the work to where it's that no think because you have to react and your body has to react so quick to make these outs. But his angles, his positioning, all of that has to be completely in sync. Cutting off those angles and working those angles is a lifelong work. And there's very few shortstops that can do such things. So he's the full package. Not only is he faster than everyone, strong arm, also athletic, but he also hits the angles. And it seems like he always knows what pitch is coming, which is the focus on top of it all. The 1-0 on Tommy LaStella. Ground ball, diving stop, Lindor. He's pretty good, isn't he? Here we have a shot in the hole. Full extension layout, turn around, arm strength, get the ball there and throw out a pretty quick base runner right there. If someone robs you of a hit like that, it hurts your heart, that's for sure. There's maybe two people in the world that can make that play, him and Carlos Correa. That's just insane talent and insane glove work. It's pure athleticism. That's also awareness. The fact that he, he didn't try to make the throw all the way there, he just gave it a nice like hop. What he does right there is he gets up and he just gets rid of it in the right area because he knows that like with all of your weight and momentum diving this way to turn and throw is gonna take more time to gather your body. So he just got up quickly and just allowed it to get there without forcing it. And he does it with a smile. It's a lot of fun to see someone smiling, having a good time because we all wanna dream what it would feel like if we got to play and you can feel that joy exuding from him. Yeah, once again, that guy is an absolute lightning bolt. I don't know how he got him out right there. They had Jeter, and Jeter for the longest time was the only one that could do that, but Francisco Lindor, we're watching an upper echelon of shortstops, and he's leading the charge. It's a play for Lindor. Bare hand grab, throws on the run. Santana digs it out. This is an all-in play, and there's very few people that can do it as consistently as like a Francisco Lindor. Like you have to have the coordination. This is pure awareness. His only option here is I gotta barehand this perfectly and throw it as I'm barehanding it. So he's not only barehanding, he's like winding up and then full speed. You practice that and practice that and practice that, and then you just trust. Lindor's transfers are so smooth right there. It's just boom, it's money every single time. You know, pressure is all perspective because everyone and everywhere has pressure, even from a little league game to, you know, the big leagues or whatever. So it's all perspective. And he's such a professional and he's such a leader, you know, in New York, this is a big city. It's a challenge, but I, I know the work that he puts in, the ability that he has. And uh, I think the Mets fans and, and him and the Mets, it's gonna be a win-win for baseball, for the Mets and for Lindor and his family. There it is, my breakdown of Francisco Lindor. Make sure to watch more episodes of Players Breakdown. You can follow me at Hunter Pence and be sure to subscribe to Whistle.